Hello guys, welcome to JavaScript interview question series. This is question number 17. We need to count a negative number in a numbers array. Here is the numbers array and you can see there are two negative numbers minus 20 and minus 40. So the expected output is two. To solve this, I have already created a method named count negative numbers and we are calling it here. So this method will take a argument. Let's call it array and let's pass this num array while we are calling it. Inside that, guys, there are multiple ways to solve this problem. I, I'm going to show you two different ways to show it, and we will also see how to concise the code into a single line. First, we will write the code in a more readable way, and later we will just make it at a single liner, a one liner, I mean. So for that, let me write array dot filter, and then it gets the number. And inside that, I can write number is less than zero correct if number is less than zero it means the number is negative and uh, filter method iterate over the array and uh, create a new array uh, wherever the condition matches okay so here the condition will match this condition num uh, less than zero will match for two elements of the array correct so because the filter method returns the array we can store that so let's call it a negative numbers array equals to this and now we can return it negative numbers array and here i'm going to store it in a variable called result res and then simply we are going to console log res and save as you can see here, we have both the negative numbers and now to count them, we can simply add the length property of the array. Now it gives us two, which is the expected output. And now just to write it in a shorter syntax, uh, instead of uh, checking the length here, what we can do is since uh, the filter method returns the array, so we can directly add a dot length property here instead of this, okay? and we can write negative numbers count and return it okay let me clear the console and save it now also we get two correct now instead of returning the variable here and storing the output here we can directly return it correct so we do not need to store it in the variable we can directly return it and delete the variable and now save it now also we get number two now since this is a one liner code we do not need to write this curly braces and the return keyword. So we can omit the return keyword and we can omit the curly braces as well. And uh, let's move it to the same line in the arrow function. And this semicolon is extra, let's be deleted. And let's clear the console and save it. Now also guys, it returns two. The second way I want to show you is instead of using the filter method, we can use a reduce method as well. So let me, uh, comment this line for your reference and copy it below and here let me uncomment it and i'll just delete what we have done and i'll write array dot reduce which gets a number what number actually uh, the reduce method gets a accumulator and a current value which takes a callback and here uh, where your this curly braces ends here we can pass a second argument which would be the initial value of this accumulator so if i pass zero here accumulator will start with zero if i pass a empty array here then accumulator will become empty array correct but we want to start with zero so i'll write zero here and inside that i'll add a condition that if i current value is less than zero then return accumulator plus one it means let's say uh, for this uh, iteration of minus 20 this uh, condition will become true and accumulator is zero initially then zero plus one it becomes one and it will return that and for next time when minus 40 comes uh, accumulator value would be one plus one and it becomes two okay and if the value is not less than zero means the value is positive then i'm simply going to return the accumulator without increasing it okay. and here i can uh, return this value whatever it returns so it will return uh, the number only 
let me clear the console and save it. It's now also two. And now to make uh, it more concise, uh, what we can do is first of all, instead of using this if condition and then returning, we can use the ternary operator. So I can omit this if and this return method and all that. And we can say if current value is less than zero, then do accumulator plus one. Otherwise, give me accumulator back. So we can omit this return and this curly braces. Let me delete both of them and save. Now, uh, since we have a single line, so we do not need this curly bracket. So let me remove them as well. This is not required and let's save it. Okay, now also it returns to wise. Let me clear the console. And now I think you know one thing we can do here is since this is a uh, one liner now, so we do not need these curly braces. This uh, return keyword and this curly bracket as well, I can omit and let's save it. With that, it also returns two, but now it uses a single line expression, correct? So as these are the two ways to uh, count the negative values from a numbers array. If you are aware of any other way to do the same thing, please comment below.